welcome everyone today we'll be looking at a gradient of a line the coordinate of the midpoint of a line and the length of a line now these have already looked at gradient so let us begin so we are given this line and we are asked to find the gradient and guys it took me a while to drop this but math is that important to me all right, so when we're finding the gradient of a line, all we have to do is to take any two points on the line, and we can, so but we're going to use the end points. It's much more convenient. So A is at point 1, 2, and B is at 3, 8. Just going to use the end point. All right, and the formula is Y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so it's the rise over run or the change in y over the change in x now we can name this x1 this y1 so this would be x2 and y2 for every coordinate is it have two points a x and a y right all right so let us look at what is x2 y2 so y2 would be 8 minus y1 which is 2 divided by x2 which is 3 so it's 3 minus 1 so let's do the maths now 8 minus 2 is 6 and 3 minus 1 is 2 so that the gradient of 3 and what that means for every 1x that we move we're gonna go up three places let's just look at it one across one two three up one across one two three up so that is the slope of the line all right let us look at the midpoint so i'm going to leave it make it look nice gradient coordinate of the midpoint what it is it's halfway between the x so x1 plus x2 so it's halfway right because it's midpoint same thing y1 plus y2 divided by 2 how simple is this guy so y1 x1 was what 1 plus 3 so it's 1 plus 3 divided by 2 and 2 plus 8 divided by 2 so it's a y Otherwise, I will add the x and we'll find the midpoint. So it should be 4 over 2 and 10 over 2. So that gives us 2, 5. Now what this means, the midpoint of the line can be found at this coordinate, which is 2, 5. So let us look for that now. So this is 2 and 5. So this right here, is the midpoint of the line and guys i'm telling you this in exam you can actually measure this and you will get the answer and you can try that at home write it in the sec comment section if it works do these coordinates find the midpoint you by using the ruler math is not hard guys all right let us look at the length of the line now if we look closely we can see that this forms a what heard somebody say a right angle triangle so all we have and this the length would be the hypotenuse so all we have to do is simply check how many units we move across so the, the x and the x is one two so it's two units there and let us see how many and the y one two three four five six so all we have to do is this two square plus 6 square. Remember Pythagoras theorem? So it's 4 plus 6, 6, 36. And that we get 40. The square root of 40. 6 point something. 6, 6, 36. Oh, we just did it right. We just did the right thing and get it right. And so 40. So it's 6.32 units. So that is how you do it. And guys, if you notice, these, the 6 and the 2, we could have taken it from here. 
right here. You could have just squared both of them and that would be the answer because the formula, the general formula is y2 minus y1 plus x2 minus x1 all over the square root. And that is how we found the gradient. y2 minus y1 divided by x2 over x1. Right? But I'm just, I just want to show you the practical way so everyone can understand. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.